I was told in life you'll never make it. I was told you'll never go anywhere in life. I was told you'll never be anything in life. I think my teachers told me you are dull, you are stupid, you can't make it. But the devil is a liar as always. After all, after they've said everything about me, God still came through for me. And I believe somebody today, God will come through for you. I said, God will come through for you. So I've met with more than 40 sitting presidents around the world. From coming out of a two-roomed house, being told you'll never be anything in life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And the Lord has been good. I remember I used to have a shoe which was torn underneath. That was my only pair of shoe. So when I used to walk, I used to walk like this. So people, they thought it was a job style. <laughs> and as I was walking, people, they thought it was a style, but I didn't want to lift up my legs because my shoes were torn underneath. But today, my story has changed. I say, today my story has changed. There are some of you that today your story is going to change. By the time you walk out of this place, oh my God, the first angel has already walked into this room. Let me tell you what's going to happen in the next 30 to 45 minutes. There's maybe two or three angels that are going to come in here. The first one is already here. The second one who's coming is more powerful than the first one. Yeah. And when he comes, things are going to begin to happen. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Go with me, please, to the book of Zechariah. Uh, that book is between Genesis and Revelation. <laughs> chapter 2, verse 1. Genesis, no, Zechariah chapter 2, verse 1. I need a good reader in the house. I've heard somebody read here before. Where is that lady who can read for me? Who is the brother? Is that there? You're going to read for me? Please, my sister, read for me. Genesis chapter 2. Zechariah chapter 2. I, I, there's something about Genesis. Okay, I'm coming, Genesis. Hold it, hold it. All right. Chapter 2, verse 1. Are we there? Have you got it, my sister? Does she have a mic next year? Praise the name of Jesus. While they're giving you the mic, I want you today... To picture yourself. To picture yourself not running away from the enemy, but going back to what you've been afraid of. If you have a neighbor who is a witch, that neighbor is in trouble right now. Because he's not in trouble when you get home. He's going to be in trouble before you leave this place. If there is any situation that you are dealing with, which is a stubborn situation, which has been attacking you day and night, and has caused you to have sleepless nights. Paul could not be here today. So God found a black angel that looks like me to come and announce to you that today, yeah. are you hearing somebody? Yeah. Are you hearing somebody? Yeah. So whatever position you are in, whatever situation you are in, something is about to break loose. Yeah. Every minister carries a different kind of anointing. My anointing is of uncommon favor, Amen. uncommon doors, Amen. uncommon breakthrough. Amen. 
So I'm going to release that over your life today. Are you hearing me, somebody? I think if God can take a man who had nothing, walking with a two-room the house, and take me to where I am today, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's read. Read, my sister. I lifted up mine eyes again and looked. This morning, it's about you lifting your eyes again. I lifted up my eyes again. That speaks of restoration of your vision, restoration of your dream, restoration of your business, restoration of your life, restoration of your marriage, restoration of your health. God is saying, time has come. But today you lift up your eyes. Again. I can hear you. Again. Somebody shout again. again. Maybe the first husband came and left. Don't worry about him. He's, he's, he doesn't know what he lost. But you're moving to another level now. I say you're moving to another level now. I say you're moving to another level now. I lifted up my eyes again. Oh, my God. They stole your business idea. And they ran with it and made man out of it. And they never came back to you to honor you. Don't worry. Lift your eyes again. They'll say to you, Ah, we have tried this. It doesn't work. And you tried it. Because we're bound by their words. Because they say to you, it does not work. So as you're working on it, you're working out of fear. But the Lord is saying, lift up your eyes. I feel my helper has just walked into the room. I say, lift up your eyes. Funda, mama. And looked. And looked. <laughs> and behold the man. Hold it, hold it. And what? And looked. You know, some of you don't want anybody to lay hands on your head. They must just lay hands on your eyes. Yes. <laughs> because the enemy is sitting on your He makes you look at everything in a difficult way. Listen, when you want to see me at my best, there must be pressure around me. I don't function normally when everything is normal. When they're telling me things are not working, that's when something rises up on the inside of me. I don't want to become a normal believer. I'm tired of normal miracles. I don't want no more miracles. Come on, somebody. I want something that when the Lord does, <laughs> I look at the devil and I say, one tattoo chase, one baby chase, one susu chase. What in Am I talking to somebody in the house? I don't want no more miracles. To this morning, if you only can find just 10, 15, 20 people who are saying to the devil, enough is enough. I want my breakthrough. Not tomorrow. Faith is Oh my God, what I'm sensing here, Mama, is what I felt a few days in Harare. As I spoke like this, people began to receive messages on their cell phones of, of things that they've been waiting for. There were people that were waiting for deals to come through, and they began to come through. And I feel again this morning, somebody in this house is marked by God for a double portion of a blessing. Can somebody shout, it's me! I lifted up my eyes again and I looked. Go on. And behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. So I look and suddenly I am seeing what? A man. What does this man have in his hand? Come on, put something in his hand where he can measure. I like him to measure, even if it's a rope or something. Just give him something that he can just use. Yes, this will work. Definitely. Thank you. That's beautiful. All right. So there is a man who is coming to do what? 
to measure. What's her name, sister? Huh? Jane. Jane. Sister Jane. So there is Sister Jane. As the angel is walking with the preacher. Ah, uh, you're not Amen. talking to me. Amen. The angel sees a man with a what? Okay, let's measure here. So she's measured. Which means her operation is limited. Do you know how it feels that you are faithful in paying your tithes? You are faithful in praying, but it seems your life is not moving forward. And then you look around, you find all the sinners. It looks like everything is happening for them. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Today there's going to be a change of power. Yeah. I said today there's going to be an exchange of power. Yeah. So there is a man with a measuring line. And the angel begins to speak. What does it say? Then said I, whither goest thou? So, so. <laughs> Where do you go? <laughs> we are happy. We are happy. Where thou goest thou? I wish somebody today can speak to your situation. And say, we are happy. You think I can't have a car before December? We are happy. You think I can't have a promotion before December? We are happy. You think I can't get my business deal before December? We are happy. What I'm seeing coming out of this house right now, I am seeing arrows. Holy Ghost fire arrows. Going against every rich hold spirits which have been trying to pull you down. And as you begin to speak, you are pointing at them and saying, enough is enough. We are happy. Now watch this. That as it begins to address the spirit, ay, 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 the spirit speaks. And he said unto me. To do what? To measure Jerusalem. To go and measure Jerusalem. To go and measure Sister Jane. To go and measure, to measure brother who? Morris. 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 To measure brother Morris. There are spirits assigned. To say she can only have one house. She can only have one car. Even when Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, God has given you dominion. Over all the things of the earth. But there is a spirit that says. Wake from the first up to the 15th. Then you are broke. By the time you get to the month end to get your salary. Already you are broke again. Young again. You are poor. It comes in. Goes out. When was the last time in your wallet where you had some bills that talk to you and say good morning? Many of us were carrying cards which have zero, 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 zero. The same anointing that causes you to fall down in church today will cause money to fall into your pocket. I said today it will cost money to fall into your pocket. The enemy has measured you. Some of you have been told even at work, you can't be promoted. <laughs> I told one of my members, she said, you know, there's these people who are giving me problems at work and they tell me openly they are devil worshippers. I said, oh, that's good. Now, you go and tell them you are a child of God. And tell them that I'm saving you with a notice. That if you don't change, you will die. And she called them and she told them, says, hey. The man of God told me I must tell you. 
that if you don't change in three days, you are going to die. And then they had an attitude, ah, who does he think he is? Um, hmm, these churches of yours, three days later, the person was dead. The Bible says you shall not suffer a witch to live among you. Since this is serious business, the church is coming back to the book of Acts. That even when people lie in church, they die same time. Oh, yeah, Another counselor said to me, you can't have land. I wanted this land for a church in Port Elizabeth. And he said to me, you can't have it. I said, counselor, the Lord told me, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. He said, this is my land. He said, no, you can't have it. I said, okay, I'll go back and tell him that you are saying I can't have what is given me. So I went back. I said, Lord, there's this guy here. He says, I can't have it. He said, well, he's in your hands. Do as you wish. I went back. I announced in church on Sunday. I said, church, I just want to announce officially. Go and tell that counselor if he's not giving me the land, he's fired. And the man said, eh, uh, people were like, huh? Because he was kind of feared guy. A few days later, <laughs> NC called for a meeting. The man was fired. Amen. Do you know the kind of a God you serve? Do you know who you are? The man thought he could measure me, not knowing. Some of you, you've been measured. But today, you must draw a line. Yeah. And say, who is this uncircumcised man to come against the armies of the living God? You need to speak like David. <laughs> and say, God has come here. I come to you today in the name of the Lord, my God. Listen to me, somebody. There's an anointing that you have not used as yet. And today you are going to legislate in the realm of the spirit. Because what you speak in the spirit becomes law in the natural. Are oh, you not talking to me? Let me break it down for you. When you decree something in the realm of the spirit, uh, it becomes law in the natural. Because the things that we see were made by the things we do not see. And the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. So when I say something by the spirit, it becomes law in the natural. That's why the Bible says whatever you bind here on earth, Whatever you bind here on earth. The devil mustn't mess up with you. I said the devil mustn't mess up with you. Today I need some of you to just shut yourself off. Because you've been carrying so much on your shoulders. You've been carrying so much on your mind. The devil is a liar. It's time for you to get hold of your miracle. And say, today is my day. Yes. Say, today is my day. Yes. Some of you don't believe it. I'll say it one more time. Today. Yes. <laughs> What's the day today? Of what? November. Of what? November. What year? That devil is in trouble. Yeah. Horror is coming to him. 2013. He must be ready for spiritual horror. Because you are going to walk in where the devil thought nobody in your family will ever walk in. You are going to walk into that territory and say, yes, my family never had a car. But I'm going to be the first one to have cars. If my family never had a house, I'm going to be the first one to own properties. Come on, somebody. Because it's your day. I say it's your day. It's your time. 
I say it's your time yeah. for doors to open up. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm hearing right now in my ears. <laughs> they are crying in the kingdom of the enemy. Over, 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 over. She's in church. She's hearing about breakthrough. She's hearing about taking back. We are in trouble. Your time has come. I say your time has come. We are not going to say a prayer. No, we want to just walk in and take over. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? It's time to take over. I say take over. I say take over. Take over. Take over. Where are you going to? Huh? Okay, no Satan is. The devil is in trouble. Where? Where? You know, he looks at you and you know, let me tell you, some of you are sleeping giants. For too long, you are not using what God has given you. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Let me break it down for you. What is the name of this ministry? I, I can't hear you. Talk like you mean it. I can't hear you. Do you know what that means? What's the meaning of the word Christ? The what? The what? So the first thing that we have upon this house, even people, other people as I'm speaking, they are still coming. There are people coming from Cape Town. There are people coming from Zimbabwe. There are people coming from Nigeria. There are people coming from all over, coming to the house of the anointed ones. I'm not, I'm not talking to this side. I think this side is okay. Anointed. It means even if the devil tries to touch you, you are too slick for him to hold you down. He can't keep you down. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because the Bible says the yoke is destroyed because of the what? So you have no choice in this house. When you walk around, demons must announce you are coming. Hey, move out of the way, she's coming. You are anointed. I say you are anointed. I say you are anointed. The second thing, you are an ambassador. <laughs> Which means you represent the kingdom of God. No sinner must drive a better car than you. I say, no sinner must drive a better car than you. Amen. No sinner must live in a nice house better than you. Amen. You don't know what's happening in the spirit. Because you see, the kingdom operates on confession. As you are saying it, it's coming to pass. As you are saying it, it's coming to pass. I tell people, Mama, I used to pass through beautiful restaurants. But I didn't have money. Do you know when you don't have money, you don't even have friends? Nobody even greets you. You greet everybody. Hi, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> Tell somebody, I should go So one day, by faith, I walked into a restaurant. Walked in. And I got there. And I sat on the chair. And the waiter came. How are you, sir? Welcome. There's a menu. Can I give you water, meanwhile? I said, yes, give me some water. <laughs> and then he asked, he said, still or I said, give me the natural one. <laughs> water came. As it's going to fetch water, I looked at the menu. And then the scripture came into my mind. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and no doubt in his heart, 
it shall come to pass. And the Bible says, where is the miracle? And it says in the book of Romans, the miracle is nigh thee, even in your mouth. So I spoke to the menu. I said, menu, my name is St. Fidelis. I want to tell you that I'm coming back. I will be back. I said, menu, if you have never watched a movie, there is a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger that says, I shall be back. Nah, I'm coming back. Give me a few days, I'm coming. Today, my story has changed. I eat wherever I want to eat. Because I spoke it into existence. Hear me, somebody. The miracle is in your mouth. I said, the miracle is in your mouth. Some of you today, you need to say, Lord, help my mouth not to speak anything negative. My faith is very simple. Me, I lay hands on this thing called fridge. Do you know the fridge? I lay hands on it. And I speak to the fridge. I say, fridge, who told you that you must only have water? You are not talking to me, somebody. You see, some of you are looking for deep faith. Uh -uh, let's talk simple stuff. I ask you, I say, who told you to be empty? I said, who told you that you are only made for water? Don't you know that eggs must stay in here? And, 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 and cheese? And liver? So I pray, I said, liver, I don't care where you are. In the name of Jesus, come. Come on, somebody! Eggs, whether you are inside a chicken, I don't care. Now it's your time. Come. Come. I think somebody this morning can call her miracle. Or his miracle. And you can say, come! Jesus. Come. You don't understand. When Kratos anointing is operating on your life, it is the life of dominion. So you legislate things. You speak like a ruler. You command things into existence. When you speak, the, ah, even if the dry bones are in the grave, and they are lying there dead. Ask Brother Lazarus what happened when he was lying dead and had given up on him. And the Bible says Jesus came by and he said, Remove the stone. He is not dead, but he is sleeping. And he began to call and say, Lazarus, come forth. Listen to me, somebody. You can speak to your dream, you can speak to your miracle and say, Come. I can't hear you come. It has to come forth. I said today it has to listen to you. Amen. Don't beg. Tell it. Amen. Tell it. Some of you, you need to tell your car and say you are coming to my house. Amen. You need to go to that garage by faith. You enter in and say in the name of Jesus. Car, I speak to you. I am speaking like prophet Ezekiel. When the Lord asked him, son of man, can these bones live? And he said, oh yes, Lord, thou knowest. And the Lord says, ah, 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 wrong prayer. You speak to the dry bones. I wish somebody in this house can speak to a dry bone. And you can say to it, dry bone, come together. You know, it doesn't matter what your miracle is. Today is going to locate you. Today is going to locate you. I say your miracle is going to locate you. I say your breakthrough is going to locate you. I say it's going to locate you. 
Makele boshi kama sondo robosha. Mandala boshi koto loboshi kama soto lobose. Riba handere bekesi koto lobokosa. Mandere bresi kiyande roboko soto lebeshe. Mindele brekesa katala bokosha. Makatala bekese kete. Reba kaso koto loboko siyanda. Rika ma. I'm entering the gentleman's house right now. Rika ba kese kese. Libe kete loboko so. Makende loboko si kama. Hey, let your miracle locate you today. The devil is a liar. Yeah. It's been too long you've been crying at night. Lord, when will my breakthrough come? Lord, when will my miracle come? Lord, when will it come to pass? But today I've come to announce that this is the hour of your visitation. This is the hour of your breakthrough. I looked again. There was a man with a measuring line. Go to church, but stay bound. Give your tithes, but stay bound. Sing in the choir, but no breakthrough. Know all the scriptures, but nothing happens. The other day, the Lord spoke to me, and I began to cry in his presence. I said, Lord, who is man that you are mindful of? You know, the love that the Father has for us, I don't think we understand the depth of it. And he says, son, for this purpose, for this reason, my son left a place of authority and he humbled himself and took the form of a man. Although he was God, but he took a form of a man. And he humbled himself and was carried by the person he created. Lived among men. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's a lady here called Shelly. Sister Shelly, God is healing you right now. Something is happening to you right now as I'm speaking. Shelly, something is happening to you. And the Bible says he was tempted like all of us, yet he knew no sin. And went all the way to the chain of the cross. And when he got there, he declared it is finished. And the garment that divided the holy place and the whole of holies was torn apart. Signifying that you and me we no longer need a high priest to go and sacrifice for us. But now we can walk into the Holy of Holies and bring our petition before a father that loves us. Listen to me somebody. Today you are going to walk into where you have never walked before. Because you are going to go before your father. I looked again, read my sister. And what happens next? What happens next? To see what is the breath. To thereof. see what is the breath thereof. And what is the length thereof. What is the length thereof. So the measurements are taking place. Go on. And behold, the angel talked with me uh -huh. and went forth. And another angel. <laughs> the angel that was talking to me left. 
I want somebody who's small in stature. Can I have a small person? Small person, come. Somebody with a small body, come. They're not small. Come, come, come. Why are you afraid? Why are you acting like an old woman? Come here. All right. So, so this, so you can see here. Now hold here. Hold there. Just hold this. Right. So this was the first angel, right? So the first angel now goes. And a bigger angel comes. What I'm trying to show you now is an exchange of spiritual power. People are used to normal believers. But there's an exchange of the anointing. There's a Kratos anointing coming upon your life. We are going to begin to dominate situations. When this angel comes, Listen to how it addresses the situation. And another angel went out to meet him. Yes. And said unto him, yeah. run, speak to this young man. Saying, so, 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 now run and speak to this young man. It's no longer a big man. When you read in verse 1, what does it say in verse 1? Behold a man. Behold a man. But now it says speak to that young man. From being a big man into becoming what? Saints, I don't think you are seeing this by the spirit. The angel that's coming to fight your battles, it's skilled in warfare. All this time you were working with this angel and it has opened up your eyes to see certain things. But there's another angel that is coming. It's a bigger angel. There's an angel for healing. There's an angel for deliverance. There's an angel for money. There's an angel for uncommon favor. There's an angel for uncommon doors. Oh, there are other angels that open prison doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there are others that just causes the chains to fall off you. As you are worshiping, suddenly the chains fall off. Like what happened in the book of Acts. Are you hearing me, somebody? These are different kinds of what? Of angels. There are even angels that causes people to become blind. Your enemy comes looking for you, but he can't find you. Witches come to your house, they come look at your home. You're not talking to me. It's in the book. <laughs> it's in the book. Read the story of Lot. You hear the story of Lot. The angels came and they blinded everybody. The men of the city, the whole city was blind. They are looking for, oh God. They are looking for God, but they can't find him. Let me tell you, there are some of you, people have been plotting you. But this time they'll not locate you. Amen. I say they're not going to locate you. Amen. They'll look for you. But she was here. Others, they are going only to have their eyes opened when you've got all the information about them. Amen. Amen. You're not getting it. God will cause your enemies to come to you and tell you what they are planning. And then after they have said it, they say, but ah, what did I tell you? They don't know why they were telling you. The anointing that's coming upon you, it's not an easy anointing. It's a heavy anointing. I say it's a heavy anointing. I say it's a heavy anointing. Watch this, watch this. So the angel comes. It says, run! And speak to that young man. I see authority there. I see reposition there. I see power there. The man is no longer a man. It's now a young man. Run and speak to that young man. 
Listen, time has come that you begin to run in the spirit. It's not the time for you to walk in the spirit. This is the time for you to run. I say it's time for you to run. Every chain in your hands, in your legs is being broken. It's time for you to run. It's time for your business to run. It's time for your life to run. Run! And do what? And speak to this young man. And what? And speak to this young man. And what? And speak to this Somebody say speak. Speak. Tell your neighbor you've been quiet too much. Speak, speak, speak. The walls of Jericho must come down. Somebody must speak. I say somebody must speak. Walk into a business on Monday. And I want you to speak to it. And say, hey, 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 hey. Speak. I told you, I speak to situations. I speak to magazines. I open them. And I look for a nice vacation place. And I speak to it. I say, hey. Hey. Hey, hey. I'm coming to you. The Bible says, it's not by mighty. It's not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Somebody must speak. <laughs> I speak. When planes used to fly over my house, while I was still walking barefooted, I would point at them and say, you, one day, you will take me to the nations. One day. And today, my story has changed. I started by flying economy. Then I would pass through business class seats, and then I looked at them, they were bigger. And I pointed, I said, I said, Today, uh uh, that's where I sit. Others pass me, I sit right there, and I said, Praise the Lord. Mama, when I'm eating meat, I make sure it stays in my teeth. I want to remind the devil. Remember when I never ate, used to have any meat? The devil is a liar. Yeah, Say speak. speak. Say speak. speak. Uh, walk into that bridal shop and speak and say, this dress is what I'm going to wear. Amen. Put a date and a time. Amen. God is a God of time. Amen. If nobody is married in your family, you're going to be the first one. Amen. The devil is a liar. I say, speak. Say to somebody, speak. Tell that person, say, speak. You can't get a miracle. Mm -hmm. I speak. The miracle is in your mouth. You shall have whatsoever you say. I told you, what I see is what I speak. Just like architects. Are you aware that this place before was just a bush? But everything that we are seeing was inside another person. By faith, they advertise and say, coming soon, new development. And then you see a beautiful house. By faith. And then you walk there and you sign papers by faith. And then you tell your friends, you have to see my kitchen. Oh, it's a beautiful kitchen. And they say, where is it? It's there. You begin to pay the bank before even the house is there by faith. Because you know, one day, you are going to walk into reality of what you've been speaking. Change the way you've been speaking. Before December, something must happen. Yeah. Tangible miracles. Yeah. 
As a matter of fact, next Sunday, some of you are coming back with a praise report. Amen. I say you are coming back with a praise report. Amen. Read, my sister. Let's finish this. Saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited yes. as towns without walls. So the Lord says, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This thing, there's no limitation to it. You are free. Huh? Says, remember the angel is there, he's still speaking. I wish you can acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit right now in this room. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. What does the Lord say? Finish that. Because I'm feeling the anointing now. Saying Pray Jerusalem shall be inha inhabited as yes. towns without walls. As towns for, without walls. For the multitude of men and cattle therein. The multitude of blessing coming to you. I said the multitude of blessing coming to you. I said the multitude of blessing coming into your life. I said the multitude of cars, multitude of properties, multitude of businesses, multitude of money coming to you. 